Welcome to Discovery Garden Pattaya and yes, uh, I must admit it's a bit uh, unusual perspective but this is important, this stuff, you know, we grow close in the garden. Huh? Yes, close. Look at this beautiful yellow flower in our garden. It is a hibiscus and uh, a friend of mine, he wants to put it in a pot on his balcony or the terrace. And it's very well suited for that, but that is not its original purpose. It's something very beautiful, but also very useful. Firstly, after the flower, this seed pot, this green seed pot is uh, grown on the tree and that is not uh, spectacular yet, but wait. Here you see now that white stuff hanging from, from this tree or bush uh, all over. Over there some flowers and here some uh, cotton-like stuff hanging fibers from a tree and uh, actually this is something grown, a natural fiber in the garden, it is cotton. Cotton. Cotton is used as a natural fiber by mankind since the old ages, I mean 5,000 years before Christ, there was cotton in use already. And uh, of course, in the Middle Ages, it was as expensive as silk because cotton is relatively difficult to retrieve. It has uh, uh, short fibers and it really uh, exploded after the uh, Industrial Revolution when cotton could be derived mechanically. Besides the cotton tree or bush, uh, it, uh, if you let it grow, it uh, will be a, a tree, but uh, for i industrial uh, use uh, it is uh, sawn uh, newly each year and uh, you know, here you see some, some seeds uh, have fallen to the ground and some new plants developed right besides the existing one tree in our garden. So, since there's a customer that wants to put a cotton bush or tree on his terrace or balcony, we just go to the garden and dig some out. They have sprouted all over near our cotton bush or tree and our able gardener just digs them out, carries them to his uh, shack where he works and uh, puts them in a pot and in a few days the customer that is interested in cotton, uh, age-old uh, commodity or, or uh, uh, fiber that is used by humans for eternity almost uh, and it has uh, admirable flowers as well so it makes it a nice balcony plant. Well here we have the different stages of producing cotton. This is the first step you know the cotton uh, plant develops this wonderful flower, it's a hibiscus, and later on it produces these green seed pots. Firstly they are green, later when they mature they turn brown and if we try to open it, yeah, it will open uh, by itself after a while. You see, this one is not yet ripe. But then it opens up and releases these fibers. There are 
seeds hiding in these fibers. You can see here one. You have to work it out. And you could now go on and plant this seed or the cotton, the fibers, they are a means of making the seeds fly. You know, the, the wind might take them away and thus the cotton tries to conquer the world. Clever, huh? Clever. And we just make clothing out of that stuff that was meant as a means of distributing seeds all over the world, the place. Wham! Beautiful and very useful. Well, this was it about cotton. You see the products hanging besides me or behind me. And if you like what you saw today, please join the Hans Fritschi channel on YouTube or Hans Fritschi friends on Facebook and see you again very, very soon.